Harvesting solar energy is one of the easiest things you can do to create energy. With a few simple tools, you too can create a hot water solar system. All you would need is a drill, some drill bits, a saw, some basic lumber, tin snips, copper tubing or hard pipe, silicone caulk, flat black spray paint, drop ceiling tile insulation, aluminum sheeting, some screws, plexiglass. You can create solar energy for domestic hot water and heat. I will show you in a few simple steps a low cost and reliable. I've cut some lumber into a 2x2 two two square. There's a 24 inch by 24 inch apply, uh, square piece of plywood, some 1x4 pine to create a box. The box measures about three and a half inches deep. Within the box, I will place a piece of drop ceiling insulation as my insulator. One inch by two inch pine creates create a raised platform on which the aluminum sheet will sit. Now you can make this any size you like. The most convenient side would be about two feet by eight feet since the inexpensive copper uh, aluminum sheeting comes in 24 inch rolls. Very inexpensive to purchase. I create this box with an insulated bottom. created a box insulated elevated closed in the next step is the copper pipe and the copper coil that will be inside the heat box This will absorb the heat from the sun. Simple aluminum foil can be used as a reflective material to keep all the heat in. We seal in the hot box with a bead of silicone to seal it in place, an airtight seal. Place your aluminum flat black painted sheet over the coil and 
drop it into place and it will glue in the place. The solar panel is now ready for the plexiglass. Place a bead of silicone caulk on the upper edge. Silicone is waterproof and heat resistant and creates a great seal. Place your plexiglass glass in place. An inch and a quarter angle wood will hold it in place with screws. Now you have an airtight seal and you're ready to use the sun to heat some water. In this cross section of the panel you see the components, the base, the insulation, the aluminum foil, the copper pipe, the aluminum sheet, and the plexiglass. The heat is transferred into the fluid in the coil. The fluid is actually glycol, an antifreeze liquid, so that when the sun is down it does not freeze. In turn, you will be transferring the heat energy from this liquid into a storage tank, which will in turn transfer the heat into your domestic hot water. It's late afternoon and I brought the solar panel outside to show you how amazing the sun's energy is. The outside temperature is 80 degrees. Inside this box, it's 131.4 degrees enough to heat water for domestic use or for heating. Depending on the size of the panel, you can either heat your whole home or just domestic hot water. It depends on exactly what you want to do. In the future editions, you will see how to solarize your home at low cost.